Hello there folks, Joe Wazoo here. I'm going to talk about a new Allen Bradley L5K Plus driver that Redline recently released for use in Crimson 3.1 today. And I'm running uh, the latest build of Crimson as of today, build 3124.000. You'll need to have that build of Crimson 3.1 to do this. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over here to communications on the left. And under one of my protocols, I'll hit here, protocol 1. I'll go over here to the no driver, hit the pick button right here. And scroll down to Allen Bradley for the manufacturer. And you'll see the listing of the different drivers we have here. We've had the L5K enhanced for many years. And uh, this L5K Plus is a brand new one. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to use this driver. I think it's really cool and I think you'll like it. So I'm going to click that one. Well, there we go. And uh, I'm going to, I'm always weird, so I'll just call this one a Wazoo's uh, PLC, for instance. And right out here where it says file name, I'll hit the browse button here. And I'll navigate to uh, a bunch of uh, L5K uh, tags I've got here, or files. So let's pick, uh, let's pick this one here. And let's click the open button. And it's set up there. And then down below, right here, there's a thing called create data tags. So I'm going to click on this button here. Brings up a listing just like you've seen previously in our other L5K drivers. But at this time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, add the whole column here. So I'll add those over there like that. And I'm going to hit this create button here. And uh, you'll like what you'll see here. I'll hit create. I'll say yes. And continue on. And that's about all I did there. But here's what's really cool about this. If I go over here to data tags now look team it automatically created a directory structure down to the particular tags with their name as they are in the l5k and they're set up correctly with the correct type and so forth so that's pretty cool let's go add another one here just for giggles go back here to communications um, i'll add another protocol too i'll do the same thing on this one I'll pick alan bradley pick the l5k again click open and this time I'm going to use, uh, there's another one here called uh, Jennifer's PLC. At least I got an L5K. I don't know if Jennifer is. Uh, we'll go ahead, Jennifer's PLC. And we'll hit the Browse button here. It's one of the ones I've got listed. Uh, here it is. This one here is a little bigger. We'll click the Open button. Now this one has a bunch here. It says here 67 tags. I'll show you what that means here in a second. But I'll click OK here. And I'll do the same procedure down here. I'll hit Create Data Tags. Once again, you can see this one's got an awful lot more tags in it. So I'll just click up here. I'll just add the whole thing. Add. Hit the Create button. Click Yes. And it's going to continue on here. And now if I go over here to Data Tags, look, I've got Jennifer's PLC here. Under there, I've got the controller tags. And I've got all the tags listed. Pretty cool there, if you ask me. Uh, the errors that you saw, there's two folds of errors. Uh, I've got Notepad open. Uh, the first one that had 67, those were the aliases that you can see here. So right now, it doesn't look like it's taking in this alias right now that I can see. And then it had some additional errors with the file names too long and something about these structure here. So I don't know what exactly that means. But nonetheless, uh, it did create an awful lot of the tags for me which is pretty darn cool here so i thought i would just show that uh, to you um, then of course if you were testing this uh, you'd want to make sure that the, you know the ip address matches the plc's that you're talking to and so forth you shouldn't have to change the port number you usually leave that alone but then if i go to display pages and i go over here to data tags and if i wanted to see wazoo's i drag them out here like that and of course uh, jennifer's tags here uh, if i just wanted to let's see what i got here we got a bunch of stuff. We can grab all those out. Timers, we can grab all these. I'll just do a shift. And you can put that on your display page and download and see if you get uh, uh, values correctly or dash lines, depending on what you're doing. But hopefully you're looking for a zero or some kind of numbers in these for testing. But that's the new Allen Bradley L5K Plus driver. I'm really excited about it uh, because it creates the tags for you automatically. One thing I will tell you uh, uh, with the L5K driver, uh, yes, it is true, team, that you could click on the protocol and add additional device here. So I could do this, 
and uh, I think I got some other ones. Let's see, I think I got one called Big Sky. Uh, let me just see if I can get this one to work. I haven't tried this one, so I might crash and burn. Let's try the smaller guy here. This one here. And no errors. Go create data tags. And this is the big sky. Yep. So it also would add the tags over here. Shrink that down, big sky. And there's all their tags. And the thing I was going to say, though, is when you're doing the L5K, um, it's quite a bandwidth hog. Uh, so typically, uh, we would tell you that... Uh, you should really have more than four of these devices under one of these drivers. And I might even go as, uh, I don't know how efficient it is, but I might restrict you to maybe one of these under one of these drivers. And of course, in Red Lion, by clicking on the word network and then click on add ports, team, you can add up to 10 different protocols across here. So you could theoretically have each one of these being the ABL5K, and that would be looking at 10 particular PLCs with this one. Uh, HMI. Anyway, I just thought I'd do a quick video on how to use the Allen Bradley L5K driver. It's really cool because it automatically creates all the tags for you simply by clicking on the button down below right here, the create data tags. So that's about it. Hey, thanks a lot, folks. Have yourself a great day. We'll see you later.